Welcome to LEWS Confidential. I'm Gerald Bentley. Today, don't let her looks fool you. There's a second song to Alice Blair. She's part of the Bride Style Tag Team Champions, the Las Vegas murder scene. And now, we are joined here on LBWS Confidential by Alice Blair. Alice, thanks for stepping into the ring. Thank you for having me. Yeah, hey, had a chance to actually talk with quite a few of the women that were on the UWW card, which you were on. Mm -hmm. You had the three-way yeah. match with Maserati and uh, Zeta Zhang. Mm -hmm. The question that just came up for me to each of the women that I talked to is, what got you into professional wrestling? Ooh, um, fan at a very young age. I remember just always, like, me and my family would just, like, sit in the living room, flip through the channels. If there was wrestling on, that's what we would keep. And then that's what we would watch. And I think everyone, I just like, fell in love with it. Okay. What wrestlers in particular were memorable to you? What made you say, hey, you know, I can do this? Ooh. I remember definitely AJ Lee, as well as I started watching it more around like when AJ was there and when The Shield was there. Out of The Shield, okay. I gravitated more towards Dean Ambrose, who is John Moxley uh -huh. now. So those two sure. are my favorites. And AJ Lee, of course, is Mrs. Yes. CM Punk. Yes. <laughs> now, she's actively involved in WOW. Have you had a chance to run into her? No, I haven't had a chance. No, she... I I saw like the headlines that she was like producing WOW, but I mm -hmm. haven't gotten a chance to work with like the company or like meet her yet. So, okay. How long have you been actively wrestling? Um, two years. Two years. Wow. So that's a pretty quick, pretty quick yes. turnaround to be involved in FSW, Pride Style, yeah. UWW. Yes. Mm -hmm. what got you to that level so fast what do you attribute that to um definitely um i definitely give that to my trainers um sin kenny remy sharp cody um i was kind of like thrown into like my matches which mm -hmm. it's like it's a funny story but i'm actually thankful that it happened that way you know like just kind of being thrown in definitely oh, what helped happened? me get through. Since you said it was a funny story, what? Well, like just my debut you, uh... match in general. Uh huh. My, my debut, in general, I was like told maybe like a week before that I was going to debut. So, oh, okay. And how long had you been training before yeah. that came up? Um, I started training like November of 2019. But then, like, the pandemic happened and stuff. Yeah. So um, if you count the pandemic, like, maybe a year. But training, I would say, like, 10 months. Okay. So that's so, that's a pretty quick yeah. time, pretty quick turnaround. Had you been involved yeah. in sports and in school or no. any amateur wrestling? No. No. <laughs> so you're... I mean, you're heavily involved now because you're traveling around, right? And mm -hmm. competing in multiple promotions, multiple federations. Yeah, outside a few. Of, yeah, outside of watching wrestling when you were growing up, what was the, the spark that made you say, hey, let's go? I guess you went down to FSW and did the training there. Yes, I trained at FSW. Um, I remember emailing them. And then they set me up with like an appointment and that's where I met Sin and Joe and like walked in and watched the class and kind of signed up from there. What's been the hardest thing so far? Um, definitely the physicality because I didn't come from like an athletic background. I didn't do anything like in high school or growing up. So 
definitely it it took me a while to get like just the basics down like like the bowls. So I will say physicality. Because we're seeing some women from Las Vegas that have been making a jump and getting some opportunity to wrestle mm -hmm. on the national stage. Uh, Rochelle Riveter got to get in the ring and impact. The Black Swan mm -hmm. just uh, got in at AEW last week. Johnny Robbie's been in AEW a few times. Got impact coming up again to Las Vegas. Um, you obviously you had your shot with UWW. Where do you see yourself being in a couple of years? Um, in a couple of years, well, I definitely want to make it to TV. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to make it to TV. Perhaps like Impact or Dark. Those are like the goals I have for this year, definitely. Yeah. But I'm happy to see like the ladies get on, like Johnny, Rochelle. Like I know them very well. And I haven't met um Black Swamp, but I'm very proud of how far they've gotten. That's gotta be great though, being a part mm -hmm. of that that kind of circuit when you see yeah. that people are getting noticed, you're wrestling mm -hmm. against them, so that's giving you that opportunity to make a jump too. Definitely, yes. Now, your current, I guess, uh, highest profile matches are coming in tag team work in Pride Style with Lazarus, who we just had on. How how did that come about? How did you uh, decide um, you wanted to do an intergender tag team and be the Las Vegas murder scene? It was, it was an idea that was brought up to me by Milhouse, who runs the promotion. He is the promoter. Mm -hmm. um i think he i think he got that idea like, from like the match we had me and last wrestled at versus once and it was yeah. perhaps one of my favorite matches of last year you know me and him have similar styles similar fires similar aggressiveness so i think he kind of saw something in both of us and decided to team us up well, and you definitely see a different side. If somebody follows you on Twitter, they can mm -hmm. catch a couple of the promos that you've done for the Pride Style matches and definitely a little bit of inner anger in uh, Alice, a, a different side, if you will. A little bit, yeah. There's that match that was uh, oh, yeah. just coming up. It. What's the hardest part? Is it the matches or is it uh, being comfortable with the on-camera promos? Um. For me right now, definitely um, the promos. I feel like I've gotten more comfortable in the ring. Now I have to just develop myself more as like the character, like Alice Blair. Now I have Laz, like who are we as a team? So mm -hmm. definitely I would say just like character and promos right now. So will you work on that with the trainers? Will they help you kind definitely, of yeah. say that, Since give you ideas? Sin is like a big promo guy. I also, Kenny King, he's also great at helping. Mm -hmm. We do like, we do run classes on promos. So they definitely do help us. But it's also a lot of just like inner work. Like you have to practice. You have to have these ideas about yourself and like write them down and work with them. But the trainers will definitely help you. Well, you really have to internalize the character that you're going to be portraying too right because mm -hmm. it can't just be you reading off a card or mm -hmm. reciting words that obviously somebody else wrote and they just said hey read these because then it it just doesn't look right it you right. Know, a, a wooden kind of halting look and you have to you have that, to believe the things that that say, yeah right, right. that's that's got to be kind of challenging because there doesn't seem to be a lot of anger in you. <laughs> you know? think so? Now, what about uh, tag team? How do you how do you like being in the tag team with Lazarus? Oh, I I like it. Yeah, me and him, like I said, we're very similar. And then it was it was definitely like a strange thing, but I'm grateful that we're together. And we work well together. So we still have, we're still fairly new, but mm -hmm. we feel comfortable. 
much more comfortable tagging with Lazarus than with Ricky Tenacious? <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely, 100%. Because that would have been, that was at uh, FSW show, what, about a year, year and a half ago? I would say like a few months, a few months ago, yeah. For really uh, okay. yeah. a casino show. It was for a casino show. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> So more of a more of a kindred spirit with Lazarus than with uh, Ricky Tenacious. Yes. <laughs> now, just as you're as you're getting into it, and you can follow Alice on you know, Instagram, on Twitter, and trying to get more more out there. Is that that's kind of an important part too of being an independent wrestler? Is you have to really kind of build your brand and use mm -hmm. those social medias, be it uh, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, to help pull people in, right? To mm -hmm. get those yeah. get those Dallas Blair fans coming to see you. Yeah. Um, if you see my Instagram, you can tell that I'm just not really good at the social media thing yet. But that was actually one of my New Year's resolution this year is to definitely post more because it definitely does help your brand grow and it def mm -hmm. definitely gets eyes on you yeah, yeah but i'm not yeah if you see my social medias you can tell was that, that just, just not, not good at it yet it wasn't something you were into or really no not really much? but i'm i'm working on it i'm working on it so I, I know some people i mean heck they're on the different social medias eight ten hours a day i know yeah and yeah, it's definitely something I need to work on. It wasn't something that, like, I was used to back then. But it, as a wrestler, as, like, a performer, you have to. So. Sure. Now, besides social media, what other things are you really looking at uh, building up and working on for 2023? Um, for As for Alice Blair, definitely just more in-work stuff. My physique, definitely, since I am I am a smaller competitor, but I also want to just, like, you know, look look good, for, especially if I want to get on TV. That's, like, mm -hmm. a big thing that they preach to us a lot. And it is true. You do have to look a certain way. So that's definitely something that I've been working on for a few months now. Well, and just to keep from getting injured, too. The yes. The better shape you're in, the more resilient you're going to be. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. since I am just smaller, I do have to like do extra things, take care of myself a little bit more. Now, how has that worked with being in? I mean, really, it's not even an intergender match. Most of the tag team matches, it's you and three guys. Mm -hmm. How challenging is that? Um, I wouldn't say it's challenging. It's just more, more so. I don't really see it as more so like guys or girls. I see it more as like a match mm -hmm. and it can be just a little bit difficult, but at the end of the day, we try to put on like a good show and I do have fun in my matches. So that's what yeah. matters. We love with like ideas and how to incorporate just my size, my character. So at the end of the day, I do enjoy just the odds being against me. I think I have more fun in those types of matches. Okay. Now, you've been able to really kind of be a very active part of the Las Vegas wrestling scene. Mm -hmm. Are you looking at branching out to other areas of the country this year, too? Definitely. Um, one of my goals as well is to definitely make it um, outside of Nevada, mm -hmm. like travel more, definitely out of state. And then perhaps further down the line out of the country. But right now I'm looking more so like surrounding areas, like out of state and stuff. Okay. So like Arizona, maybe California, best of the West, mm -hmm. that kind of. Yes, definitely. Now, I know it's only been two years, but how do you rate Alice Blair now versus Alice Blair from that first match? Oh, how will I rate her? Definitely, yeah. you, how she's much definitely change? gotten better. Yes. Yeah. Um, I would say, 
now I have gear because <laughs> when I first yeah. started, um, I didn't have gear. So now I definitely have gear. Um, I was actually watching a few of my match, like old matches just randomly the other day. And mm -hmm. I can tell um, I used to look so small, <laughs> so tiny. But now I think with the gear, the gear definitely helps make you look like a certain way, like a wrestler, like a performer. So I do okay. find myself just different. Um, I started doing my makeup. I started playing with that. Just overall, like appearance, I can tell that the growth, like more confidence, definitely. I can see that. Okay. And just one more question, and we'll get into the championship round. Mm -hmm. Out of the, the women in the Las Vegas wrestling scene, who's who, and it could be a couple of people, have stepped up and really kind of helped you out the most? Oh, um, definitely. I remember just my first matches ever with, like, Strella. Strella was actually my first match. She was uh -huh. super helpful. And then I started having matches with Sandra. I love Sandra. She's amazing. Um, I worked Moss in the beginning. Just those three girls. I also worked mm -hmm. Dana. So it, it was a small group, but we all helped each other. Sandra was also always amazing. Moz was definitely like one of the more experienced vets. So she definitely helped me whenever I got to work her. And I recently worked her um a couple weeks ago that was the first time we worked one-on-one -on -one because we will always work like three ways tags and it was always just strella sandra and moz so i gotta give it to them because they were just my first matches ever and they were okay. definitely the right people to be in with awesome well then hey mm -hmm. pride style champion but we also have the lvws confidential belt for you the uh, LVWS Confidential mm -hmm. Champion of the Week. So just a few questions in the championship round. What's your dream match? My dream match? Yeah. And it could be anybody. Anybody? Anybody, yeah. Um, I would say if if it could be anyone and it anywhere i would definitely would love to travel to like japan and work the girls down there that's okay. like if you're dreaming big that's like my dream if i yeah. can throw out a name um uh, maybe someone like starlight kid but okay. if we're keeping it like you're in the states i would love to step in the ring with like a trisha dora and i Kai. The doom. You know, I I would just like to work anyone at this point. I'm definitely hungry for this yeah. year. So anyone I can step in the ring with, I'm grateful for. But those okay. are just a few names if I could throw out there. Sure. What about your favorite move to do? My favorite move? Mm -hmm. I would say my spear. The spear. My spear okay. has definitely gotten, yes. Well, in, in the spirit of uh, Dean Ambrose, we've got to work on the paradigm shift. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I, I I was actually thinking maybe I should maybe I should steal it, but I don't know. <laughs> well, just change it slightly. It can change be the it, yeah. uh, could be the Blair Project or something. Um, well, hey, yeah. Just just ask. What about John Moxley? What what attracted you to him? I guess, um, I guess when he was in the shield, he was kind of like, he was kind of seen like the unhinged one. And like, I just, I couldn't really tell, but like whenever I would just like watch TV, I would always be attracted to him. Mm -hmm. Just like something about like how he wrestled and stuff. And then now that like I'm wrestling, I can kind of see like just a little similarities maybe because we're both just unhinged and aggressive. Impressive. I why I just gravitated more towards him. Okay. And just to wrap it up, since uh, we're just beginning 2023, we're at the end of 2023. What makes it a good year for Alice Blair? What do you want to see accomplished what at the end of 2023? Hopefully, at by the end of 2023, I've made it 
maybe to TV, I hope, or yeah. definitely just travel more. If I can get like a few states in, then I'll be happy. Okay. Well, I think uh, that's definitely a goal that you'll be able to get and defeat. And of course, you want to keep a hold of those Pride Style Championship belts too. But, yes, uh, definitely. Alex, thanks a lot for taking some time stepping into the ring here on LVWS Confidential. And best of luck with Lazarus and Pride Style and your solo matches in FSW. Definitely will be watching. Thank you. Thank you sure. so much. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. And remember, you can subscribe on YouTube, like the video, and by all means, keep up to date because every Wednesday we have a new episode and definitely want to listen to members of the Las Vegas wrestling scene like Alice Blair right here on LVWS Confidential. Thanks again. Have a good night. Thank you for having me. Thank you.